If you didn't know by now, on this past 4th of July, history was made on a couple of different fronts. First, NASA's Juno spacecraft was able to successfully enter Jupiter's orbit, and we were able to repel another massive alien invasion. So aliens and spacecrafts, these two things are kind of connected because once Juno completes its mission around Jupiter, NASA is going to destroy it because the space agency wants to protect alien life. Juno is a solar-powered spacecraft that's been traveling in space for five years now to reach Jupiter. On this past July 4th, it was able to successfully enter Jupiter's orbit and begin the second phase of its mission and study the planet in order to provide researchers a better idea of Jupiter's weather, environment, and possibly how it was formed. But have you ever wondered what happens to little Juno after its mission is over? Well, apparently after the $1.1 billion spacecraft finishes its job in February of 2018, it's not gonna get a happy retirement at some spacecraft farm in a land far, far away. After its final trip around Jupiter, Juno will enter what NASA calls its deorbit phase. That's a nice way of saying that Juno is gonna spend its last days crashing into Jupiter where the atmosphere is so harsh the spacecraft will just burn into bits. And yes, NASA actually took the time to make an animation of what the death of Juno will look like. I'm just glad this isn't how parents tell their kids that Fluffy died. And if you're wondering why NASA would do this to such an expensive piece of space equipment, well, they're doing it for aliens. Probably not these hostile takeover kinds. Anyway, researchers believe one of the best places to find a living alien organism within the Milky Way is under the frozen surfaces of Europa, one of Jupiter's moons where an ocean may be hiding. And NASA did not want to contaminate a place like this with Earth organisms, so hurtling Juno into Jupiter's atmosphere would destroy the spacecraft and any bacteria that might be hiding on board. This does make sense. I mean, can you imagine 10 years down the road, all the major medias are declaring that alien life was finally found on Mars or Jupiter, and NASA's gonna be making some major announcement on Monday, but then it turns out that the organism is just bacteria from when someone spit out a piece of gum. Oh, and on the way to Jupiter, Juno also took thousands of awesome images that NASA has just released least so if you want to check that out i'll have the link for you guys down below and let me know what you think is creepier because i've been thinking about this is it worse to have some intelligent life with a sophisticated weaponry attack earth and try to conquer it war some microorganism that's brought over and somehow infects everybody and that's how like the zombie apocalypse or alien apocalypse happens thank you all so much for watching see ya